Hello and welcome back to High Corporate Business Card Help video. In this video we'll see how to edit uh, text and colors in Adobe InDesign. So let's open the Adobe Illustrator version. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial I'll be working in CS5 versions of Photoshop. Uh, before we start, if you open the layers panel you'll see four different groups. We have the print info, info box, text, and design. The first two layer groups are locked and uh, print has been disabled on them because in these two layer groups uh, this is the technical information about your business card and the guidelines so you know uh, where the bleed line is, where is the safe text area, etc. You can leave these two or delete them before sending them to uh, for your business card to be printed. Okay now, uh, let's begin with color. To edit the colors, you can either select individual elements and then manually change their color, for instance. Or you can do this, open the swatches panel. Uh, if you don't see the swatches panel, uh, go to window and then swatches and it will open up and of course using the colors in the swatches panel you can change the color of your design. Now uh, the easiest way to edit colors in uh, Adobe Illustrator is using the global colors. If you see these uh, swatches with white triangle in, uh, uh, in the corner without any dots or anything else these are the colors that have been used in this design and uh, the great thing about using the uh, predefined global swatches is that not only will it change the color of the solid elements but it will also change the color colors within the gradients so let's say we want to make this blue red double click on the swatch make sure before you do make sure you're not none of your elements um, are selected. So we double click on the swatches panel, on the swatch we want to change, click the preview button and then either using the sliders or if we already know um, uh, what color we want we can use um, uh, add our values and you can see the colors changing here. So we click OK and we do this with the darker blue. So I'm going to just check preview so we can see the changes while they're happening. I'm just going to make this a lot darker. Let me go back and instead of pink, we have the pure red. And voila! We've changed not only the color of gradients, solid elements, but also the font colors that were uh, used by uh, these global swatches. Of course, we can do the same thing for our main part. Let's say we were using something blue, so just you can see the differences. Just going to use a shade of darker blue, I'm sorry, and finally and voila! We have all of our colors changed so why don't we make this yellow and as you can see the changing of the color scheme is then very simple. You don't have to spend a lot of time on selecting or editing different colors. Uh, this looks horrendous, but you get the point. Okay, now we'll just turn this into something lighter so we can see it. Okay, now let's move on to the text. First, let's make sh sure we have the character panel open. The character panel allows us to make um, edits on the font itself, font style, font size, font type, etc. If you don't see the character panel open, 
go to window, type, and then select character, or simply use Ctrl T to open the character panel. Like I said, here you can use a character panel to make general edits to uh, the font family. So either you're gonna uh, change the font family completely, you can change the style, you can change the size, and everything else that is available here in the character panel. Now when it comes to editing the text, it's super simple. You just select the text you want to edit, double click on it, and then select everything and then type your own information here. Now we can do the same thing when it comes to all the other elements. And we can move the fonts, we can um, adjust the text if needed. Um, and the second way of doing that, of course, is selecting the type tool, either from the tools panel or just selecting simply T on your keyboard. And then you select the text, either type in or copy and paste your own text. And that will be it. Okay, that was it for this video. In the next video, we'll see how to add a template in Adobe InDesign. See you. Bye.